Hey, it's me. Virtual Slug, or Crockett, or... Yeah, it's uh, whatever you want to call me. I, I don't care. I, I'm going to learn you some some model making here, brother. So I need to make a protogen for my next animation. Luckily, I already have one. Shermy. This is Shermy. Say hi to Shermy. You better fucking do it. Oh, yeah, this model is outdated. It's trash. And bam, new protogen. Shermy V fucking two. All right, to start things off, we need to show that we can be creative. Because you're not thinking creatively. Woo, creative. Just grab some paper, some pencils, and a knife just in case. You never know what's lurking in the dark. And now it's time to draw. But make sure not to overdo it or you're going to regret it. Draw a guy, an X, a commission I still have yet to finish, some doodles, your own character, or in this case, an unfinished protogen. Yeah, how about that, huh? Now we're kicking with magic. You could do whatever you want, or add your own personal tools to make things more you than ever. As always, there's always other options than what's just required. Don't worry if you mess up drawing, it happens. You can always take out your anger on something else, like innocent things. The only reason why I'm saying uh, drawing on paper, uh, because uh, draw pads are expensive. God damn. So here she is, Shermy the Protogen. Ain't she the cutest? Better say she's fucking cute. So, she's a protogen. You can draw protogens in a lot of different styles. The common one is uh, making them raptor-like in posture and covered head to toe in maximum floof. Or you could draw them more upright, not as much fur, uh, or something in between. I'm not an expert on this stuff. You could watch videos. There's rules to protogens, apparently. I don't really care. I just wanted to draw a protogen, okay? A complete character with all the hands and limbs and variants. Um, to give it a good estimate on how much time this part alone would take, it's about four to five hours if you uh, have a moderate understanding of what you're doing. Just this part. Yeah, this is a, uh, this, this stuff takes a while. Yeah. Now to import her into animate. Woo, animate! Adobe! Adobe Anime! Yeah! Making a graphic symbol and saving it to the library. I'm gonna call it Shermy. This is the main symbol here. You're gonna put everything that has to do with this character into this symbol. Yes, you're putting symbols into a symbol. Here's a time of what I'm talking about. Simple but effective. This process alone is gonna take a probably rather the most time or actually the least amount of time depending on how fast you can get it done uh it's very boring this is probably the most boring part of all of this Now that that's done, let's check her out and mmm, <laughs> there's something wrong here. Click on all the body parts and set each frame to single frame. There we go. You could move these there and those there and you got a, you know, not a freaky puppet. But wait, there's more. Hang on to your seat, baby, cause this one's a screamer. Make this puppet work like a puppet, click on this neat looking button and you get this. This is where you're going to make the bones for your character. Remember this is all still inside the character symbol, this is all still inside the character symbol. You are looking at it, you're looking at it on screen. Lower arms, lower arms to upper body, upper arms to upper body, upper body to mid body, uh, lower body to nothing you just keep lower body there that's that's the main parent that's the parrot symbol it just works better if that one's the that one's the parent symbol trust me anything else kind of gets a little fucky adjust all these rotation points and boom you got a character model Woo! Woo! you can animate them in their own layer and just add frames on their main timeline 
and it's so beautiful. Look at that. I've never been more proud of myself before. There you go. You got yourself a brand new character. Nice and neat model. But wait, there's more. Holy fucking shit. No fucking way. Well, you have the most of you, what you're going to use is probably going to be this angle, the three fourth angle. There's still more that you would want to do, right? What if they want to face a different direction? Then what? Exactly. There's more directions you could face naturally, so you're gonna want them to, you know, do the same thing. So you're gonna make a turnaround. Or not, I mean, you don't have to, but you know, it just adds more options and poses and maneuverability, I'm just saying, you know. Okay, let's do this. Luckily for you, you got the basics down with, uh, with the 3 4 angle. Just build everything off of that one. You're making an 8 angle turnaround. You only need to make about 5 though out of the 8. You can just flip the last 3 pretty much. 3 4 right, side right, 3 4 back right, back, and... So overall, this process of putting everything into animate properly and neat takes a long time. It's about 2 hours for me just to put everything that I've already made into Illustrator and animate. But uh, in total, uh, that part's probably the most boring out of everything but in total drawing all the angles making sure they all you know look good and are all you know actually posable it, it, it's gonna take a long time and that's usually actually the part that takes me forever to make these animations it isn't actually the animation part itself it's making all the models because now more than ever they're more complicated and they have more angles I'm basically instead of putting together one model with a bunch of different variants for different parts I'm making eight different models with all their separate parts and I'm calling that for one character it's it's a bit but these characters will last a lot longer than my other groups V1 and, and, and uh, definitely the V2s uh, so while we're watching this uh, it's about 12 hours, I think, uh, the footage that I'm going through right now. Uh, just sit back, enjoy some KF music. Uh, if there's uh, anything you want to tell me, write it down in the comments. I'll be back in like a minute to talk again. Uh, enjoy the KOF music. Uh, I'll be back. And Shermie is complete. Overall, just for Shermie alone, it took about 12 hours spread out between three days uh, to get her done. I started working on her just a little bit after I finished making that 100 sub video. So, I mean, that, that could give you a good gauge on how long this took me. But, you know what, I think she looks great. She'll be in the next video along with Crockett. That's me! And some other cameo characters and stuff, but mainly them too. Um, I hope y'all like this horrible guide. That was, uh, you know, it was, was kind of fun to do this. I think in between videos, my main ones, the 
two that are promised per month. Uh, I think every once in a while when I'm making a new character, I'm going to do something like this, or I'm just going to do a time lapse of what it's like to make these characters. If you guys are actually looking to learn how to animate, uh, using Adobe Animate, using your character puppet, I guess I could actually legitimately make a tutorial for that or if you want a more in-depth guide of what I'm talking about when in this video I guess you could uh, you know tell me that too uh, I'm no professional everything that I know is self-taught everything else is uh, also pretty much self-taught uh, I did take classes for this stuff in high school but it hardly helped me it just got me interested in the stuff um, uh, for guides uh, drawing, I, if you're looking to draw furries, I recommend you rather create your own style, or you could uh, combine a bunch of other styles and see what see what Frankenstein monster you could come up with. Um, I, I, I recommend uh, you just do you when it comes to doing stuff like this. Uh, I think that was it for me. Uh, there's probably more footage playing stuff that came with this character that I was doing. Well, as always, that was me, and I'll see you around.